South Carolina CDL Tanker Vehicles Test. Question 1. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 2. Liquid tide separators between compartments inside tanks are called Bulkheads Baffles Barriers Answer Bulkheads Question 3. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 4 Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 5 Empty trucks may require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 6 when should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 7. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Top to bottom, front to back, side to side. Answer Side to side. Question 8 How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 9 Altage means Liquid weight. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 10 When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer 
Distribution of weight. Question 11. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 12. Altage means Liquid weight Allowance for expansion of liquid How fast the liquid tanks drain Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 13. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called bulkheads, barriers, baffles. Answer Bulkheads. Question 14 Separators with openings or holes in them that are between compartments in a tank are called bulkheads baffles barriers answer baffles question 15 side to side surge can cause a rollover Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. Answer. A rollover. Question 16. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 17. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 18 Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back, side to side, top to bottom. Answer Side to side. Question 19. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 20. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads Question 21. 
What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 22. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 23. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 24. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are starting or stopping, hauling milk or other food products, loading and unloading. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 25. Side to side surge can cause overspeeding, suspension system failure, a rollover. Answer. A rollover. Question 26. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 27. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Water content Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 28. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 29. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Brake lightly. Downshift twice. Speed up slightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 30. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight 
Question 31, Empty Trucks Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 32. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 33. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 34. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 35. Side-to-side -side surge can cause Suspension system failure Overspeeding A rollover Answer A rollover Question 36. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason s. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 37. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 38. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 39. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Answer. Always. Question 40. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer. 
some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 41. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 42. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The amount the liquid will expand in transit The legal weight limits Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 43 you are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the length of your vehicle, the distance you can see ahead, the distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer The distance you can see ahead. Question 44. Cytoside -side surge can cause A rollover Suspension system failure Overspeeding Answer A rollover Question 45. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 46. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Loading and unloading Answer Starting or stopping Question 47 an emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking Use only the emergency brakes Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there Answer Use control door stab braking Question 48. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 49. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 50. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Answer. Speed up slightly. 
Question 51. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason s. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 52. Altage means. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 53. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 54. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 55. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom. Side to side. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 56. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 57. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Use control door stab braking. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 58. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 59. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping, loading and unloading. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 60. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. 
side to side. Question 6-1. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are starting or stopping, going uphill or downhill, driving against the wind. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 62. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 63. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 64. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Never. Always. Answer. Always. Question 65. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 66. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 67. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 68. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 69. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 70. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Distribution of weight 
air to fuel ratio. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 71. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on the legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expand in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 72. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Top to bottom. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 73. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are loading and unloading, hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 74. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your air to fuel ratio, distribution of weight, water content. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 75. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Never. Answer. Always. Question 76. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. The truck will roll over. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 77. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 78. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Answer. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Question 79. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 80. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping, 
loading and unloading. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 81. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 82. Side to side surge can cause a rollover, overspeeding, suspension system failure. Answer A rollover. Question 83. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called Barriers Baffles Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads Question 84 how would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer there will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 85 When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your distribution of weight, air to fuel ratio, water content. Answer Distribution of weight Question 86. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Bulkheads Barriers Baffles Answer Baffles. Question 87. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Answer. Always. Question 88. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 89. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom. Side to side. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 90. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Answer. Always.
Question 91, you are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 92 An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 93 Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 94. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 95. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 96. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 97. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are going uphill or downhill, starting or stopping, driving against the wind. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 98. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 99. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the distance you can see ahead, the length of your vehicle, the distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer The distance you can see ahead. Question 100. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio 
Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 101. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 102. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 103. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 104. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 105. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 106. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 107. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called Baffles Barriers Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads Question 108. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Barriers Bulkheads Baffles Answer Baffles Question 109. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The distance you can see ahead. The length of your vehicle. Answer The distance you can see ahead. Question 110. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers. 
especially when you are starting or stopping going uphill or downhill driving against the wind answer starting or stopping question 111 when should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp only if the tank has baffles never always answer always question 112 when your cargo tank has baffles what handling effect do you expect there will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles there will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank there will be a slower surge than quick surge answer there will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank Question 113. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Uneven expansion. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 114. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Bulkheads Barriers Baffles Answer Baffles Question 115 when you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the air to fuel ratio, distribution of weight, water content. Answer Distribution of weight. Question 116. And emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 117. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. The length of your vehicle. The distance you can see ahead. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 118. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 119. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. 
Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 120. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the water content, air to fuel ratio, distribution of weight. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 121. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 122. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 123. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 124. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 125. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called? Bulkheads. Barriers. Baffles. Answer. Bulkheads. Question 126. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 127. Altage means. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Liquid weight. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 128. Side-to-side -side surge can cause. Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. A rollover. Answer. A rollover. Question 129. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? 
Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 130 What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 131 you should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 132. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Both of these answers are correct. High center of gravity. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 133. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 134. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer. Use only the emergency brakes. Question 135. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 136. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Answer. Always. Question 137. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 138. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low.
You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the distance you can see ahead, the length of your vehicle, the distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer The distance you can see ahead. Question 139 which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 140. Empty trucks May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 141. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 142. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 143. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are Driving against the wind Going uphill or downhill Starting or stopping Answer Starting or stopping Question 144. Side to side surge can cause Overspeeding Suspension system failure A rollover Answer A rollover Question 145. Altage means Allowance for expansion of liquid How fast the liquid tanks drain Liquid weight Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 146 When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. Answer There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 147. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. 
You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. The truck will roll over. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 148. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 149. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will seem heavier than it really is. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.